Hi, I'm Betty Lynn Fisher, the Ekron Beacon Journal in Ohio.com, and we are back at Candy and Bill Klein's house um, with Lynn Poulton, and it has been about eight weeks since we were here last um, to check out your house and give you some um, tips. This is, just as a recap, you are downsizing after 40 years in this house and moving to a house in Portage Lakes, and there's a lot of projects that you've got to do to downsize. So you had set some goals for yourself because you knew that this, isn't, this is a marathon, not a race. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you've been able to do in the last eight weeks and recognizing that you work and you travel and there were things that you got to and things you didn't. Well, you know, one of the things that really helped me was the, the direction of using the 20 minutes um, as a session. And so this roll top desk was a mess um, and had stuff in there since the last 38 years when we got married. Um, that I've never looked at probably or very few times and that your unemotional attachment was able to help me to dispose of some of that stuff. Uh, I also used the time since then to clean out some closets that had things for my mom, um, clothes that you know I wish I could fit into again someday but I'm not going to let's get real at this stage of my life so you know I was able to, to unattach myself from those as well so thank you very much so, so should we open this up sure. and kind of see let's just check in wow wow you've gotten through a lot yep so did you find anything that you'd been looking for or anything no. surprised you oh okay no all right <laughs> yeah okay almost all of it got pitched really um there was very little stuff in there that had a value to me anymore i'm not sure why i kept it for as long as i did do you this feel drawer, at all any kind of um, relief that you've tackled some of this? Yes. You? Yes. This drawer here had oh, empty. Had a bunch of stuff in it. Um, when I took it out, I gave it to my husband, and I we do live in the country, so I said, take this out and burn it. <laughs> I don't need to look at it. I have not looked at it. Well, for that's at least easy instead of years. shredding it or throwing it away. Yes, because it had fi it had um, personal financial information. Yep. Okay. So right. he he took it out and burnt it and. If I miss anything, I wouldn't know it because I didn't miss it before. Right. Uh, Let's see. So what do we have in here? This is the closet that had a lot of, um, this was kind of just your storage closet. Yes. And I had said that just that quick look at it made me realize there was a bunch of things that I could easily get rid of. And that's all I've tackled in here is that easy stuff. Well, there's space. You know, so there is. You've, you've taken stuff out. These shelves were completely full yeah. um, from top to bottom. And I don't see the um, balloon things from the 50th birthday anymore. <laughs> nope, they're gone. They're they're going away. And your party so, light stuff is is much smaller. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I will probably get rid of that stuff too. I just have to go through it and see if there's anything I want to keep. If I do want to keep it, like say those Easter bunny things, my mom made those. I will probably just take them out to the the new house. Yeah, it's gonna. Because say, I'm not gonna need them till next year. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's um that's a great great strategy because thinking about the things that that you don't need now that you want to keep that you won't need until your next house that you know you could just start gathering that stuff well, and just standing here and seeing that jewelry chest right behind you yeah that was my mom's yeah what a great thing to give my granddaughters mm -hmm. right you know because I'm never gonna use that jewelry yeah, and it's sitting here and not being used yeah. Okay. But this has been my, this has been the one part that I just, every weekend say, I'm going to bring that out and I'm going to go through that. Well, we just shove things yeah. in there. I have not gotten to that. So that stuff. is my goal. Well, what, if, yes. what if you just take pieces out? Because as a big thing, that's pretty overwhelming. You that's know, I don't, bad idea. you know, I don't know if I'd be too excited about that. And then what about Bill? Bill's been busy at the house, the new house. Yes. Um, yes. Had, and he had said that a lot of, you know, his his work was going to be there in the summer and um, and that he had tackled a lot. Has he made any uh, movement on his collections? He may have um, done a little backsliding. Mm, it happens. Because when, when you guys got here that first day, he was pretty adamant that, yes, I know I have to get rid of that stuff without even being prodded. Um, but I think that now he's just not sure he needs to get rid of that stuff. Ah. So... Time will tell. Space yeah. will tell. Okay. Uh, he is definitely working. He's working on the house. Yes. He's not sorting his tractor. So maybe not... we'll revisit that before the, <laughs> yes. before the big move. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell you guys how much it's helped me to have you guys here. Mm -hmm. But just as much as helping me to get rid of stuff, it has helped me to feel wonderful about us allowing you guys in to see our mess because of the feedback we've gotten from other people. I, 
I had told Betty, um, when, when my, the Saturday that article was in the paper, I was outside and my neighbor was going down the road. She turned around and came back and pulled in and just came over and talked to me. She was in tears mm -hmm. because she has things that she has to get through herself and she has not let herself do that. And she said that it helped her tremendously. No, she was not crying because we're moving. That was not it. <laughs> she was crying because it had moved her so much. And that in itself mm -hmm. made it 100% worthwhile to let everybody see the mess that was that old top desk. And it's realistic, too, Yay. that, you know, you're getting some things done and some things aren't, aren't right? Um, sounds like maybe the Christmas closet needs to be worked on, and that's okay. you still got time. Yes. Right? And it's yeah. not all perfect, and, and but you're, I mean, you've got a lot done. And that may be something that I choose to do one at a time and have, yeah. bring up one of those totes from downstairs for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And go through one tote at a time while I'm sitting in the living room watching TV. Yeah. So we'll come back in October, and well, this will jumpstart you as well as other people, and then we'll come back in October for another jumpstart. I look forward to showing you what I've accomplished. <laughs>